Hi everyone, my name is Marie Butterworth and I'm the clinical lead for the School Aged Immunisation Service. Today I'm going to talk to you about young people providing self-consent for school immunisations. So, what is self-consent? Self-consent means that a young person can agree to have a vaccine or immunisation without needing permission from their parent or carer. The School Immunisation Service in Leicester, Leicestershire and Rutland may allow young people in year eight or above to self-consent to vaccinations if their parent or carer has not informed us of their vaccination consent or refusal. To be clear, not all young people will be allowed to self-consent. It will only be offered to young people where we do not have a parental or carer response. In order to consent, a young person must be able to show to a health professional they understand what the vaccination entails and that they understand the vaccination risks and benefits. No young person will ever be forced into having a vaccine and if there is any sign of doubt, the vaccine will not be offered. Parental or carer vaccination consent or refusal will always be used as the primary consent decision if it has been provided. A young person's consent preference cannot overrule a parent or carer's vaccination consent decision. For example, if a parent or carer refuses consent, we will not vaccinate that young person or offer them the chance to self-consent. So, you may be wondering why we are offering this new option. As a service, our aim is to offer all young people in schools the opportunity to be protected from vaccine preventable diseases many of which can be serious, life-changing or life-threatening. Therefore, we want to make sure that any young person who wants the vaccine does not miss out. We also know that occasionally parents or carers don't realise they need to complete a separate consent form for each vaccine or sometimes their consent approval comes in too late. By bringing in this change, it means that those who want the protection are able to get it, even if the parental or carer decision hasn't reached the service. We also see this as an opportunity to empower young people to take a proactive step towards supporting their health. So how does the process work? All schools will be provided with a range of information to share with students prior to the service coming into school. These will include website links to trusted NHS sources, information videos and online leaflets. Translated materials will also be available. Some schools may also use resources provided by the service to hold assemblies or dedicate some lesson time to talking about upcoming vaccinations. On the vaccination day, we will see young people with parental or carer consent, as we usually do, and give them their vaccinations. Young people whose parents have refused consent will not be vaccinated, but may receive an information leaflet from the service about the vaccine that was offered that day. Those students in year eight or above where we have no consent decision from a parent or carer will be offered the chance to self-consent. They will then receive information about the vaccine being offered in verbal and written formats and be given the time to read and digest this before discussing next steps with a registered nurse. We would like to reassure you that we've taken a range of measures and staff training to ensure the new self-consent process runs as smoothly and safely as possible. As always, our nurses and vaccinators will follow professional and national guidance and standards at all times. If you really don't want your young person vaccinated, all we ask is that you take the time to read through the information sent to you by your school and register your consent refusal on the online portal. If you are struggling to do this, you can also register your consent decision by calling the service directly on 0300 3000 007 or email lpt.sace at nhs.net. This will mean your child will not be vaccinated or offered the chance to self-consent. Finally, I'd like to remind you of the many things you can do to support and prepare your child for our visit. Wherever possible, we always recommend that young people and their parent or carer 
take the time to read through the vaccination information provided and come to a decision together as a family. This way, even if a parental or carer consent decision is not recorded prior to the session date, you can be confident you are aware of each other's wishes if self-consent is offered. There are also resources available for things like needle phobia and lots of information and advice on Health for Teens website, www.healthforteens.co.uk. If you have any questions, you can always contact our service. Thank you very much for listening.